Yo, what up guys? Elaine here from learn to bitcoin.co.za uh, back with another wallet video for you guys. Um, today we're going to be looking at a wallet called Exodus. Uh, Exodus you can use to store a number of different cryptocurrency apps, Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, Dash and oh I think so Dash, yeah Dash and a few more but we'll get more into the different uh, currencies as we go. Uh, I want to jump right into this to save everyone time and so the first thing that we need to do is go over to exodus.io. Um, here is the link. Um, what I'll do is I'll leave this in the description for you guys if you can't read it or if you have a problem with your fingers so you can't type it you can just copy paste it. Um, but yeah, so go to exodus.io, it'll take you to this page. Um, if you want, you can watch their launch video, the demo video, if this doesn't help you sufficiently. Um, but I do suggest taking some time going over the different aspects of the website, the wallet, seeing who made it, why they made it, um, a little bit of background. Go down to the bottom, you can see all of these, maybe chat to them on Slack, drop them an email thanking them, check them out on all their different platforms. But for now, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the download page in the top right here. Go over there, click download, and you'll see we've got Windows, we've got Mac, we've got Linux, contacts, you can get a job with them if you really want, or you can just ask for some support. Again, look over this, check out the new updates, what's been going on. I see they got a bug fix here. Congratulations, guys, you're doing well. Um, and boom, there we go. I have hypothetical that. And look what we have. We have the Exodus install file on our desktop. Awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to install this. We're going to double click that. Also, guys, please note that before you install any software seen in my videos, uh, make sure you understand what you're getting yourself into. Um, this is merely my opinion. Once you install or choose to install, that is of your own accord. For me, this is what I personally use. Um, and any, any decision you make after this is your own and I cannot be held liable. So now that being said, we click Run. What this is going to do is it's going to install the Exodus wallet on this machine. Um, know that if you install this wallet on another machine, it'll be a different wallet. Uh, it seems every wallet is machine specific. Uh, the data for that wallet is held on the, on the system locally. Uh, I will be doing another video to show you how to restore from a backed up Exodus wallet. But that will come in the future. Uh, right now, what we're going to focus on is we're going to focus on... Ah, there we go. Exodus has been installed. I didn't even have that open. So, yeah, you click it, you install it, and it'll put a, a what's it, shortcut on your desktop here. So, we're going to go ahead and open Exodus for the first time. Here we go. Give it a second to load. And what I think is going to happen, boom, there we are. We're into Exodus straight away. No need for this, that, and the other. You can see Exodus is now installed. We have it open here. If you have a previous one that you want to store from a backup, there you go. Restore from backup. It makes it nice and easy for you. Uh, if it's a brand new machine or if you already have a wallet that you just want to take over to another machine, that's what you would do. So we'll go over this quickly. As you can see, we've got the different coin types here. Dogecoin, Dash. Orga, Gollum, Litecoin, Ethereum, that's your portfolio. So when you actually have funds in here, you'll have a little circle showing you your percentages of what is what. If you go over to Wallet, you can see we have the different wallet types here, all with their pretty colors, that's so pretty. Um, over to the exchange, these guys have actually uh, incorporated the Shapeshift exchange into the wallet, which is quite handy. So if you want to trade from Bitcoin to Ethereum, if you want to change from any of these currencies to any of these, then you can go ahead. Uh, it seems like there's an error here, but that's fine. I'm sure that'll come right. And the most important. So what you want to do is you want to click here 
once you've made your first deposits and go ahead and back up. I can't stress this any more or any harder with any wallets. As soon as you install it, as soon as you have funds in it, back up your wallets. Take your codes, email them to yourself. Take your passphrases, your any files that it sends you, download them, keep them safe. I don't care how you keep them safe, but if you don't, then you will possibly lose access to all of your funds. So back up, back up, back up. Uh, settings. So if you go here, you can choose um, if you don't have any of these coins, you can go ahead and unselect those. What that'll do is it'll shorten your portfolio, make it a bit smaller there, and you can get creative with your skins. Me personally, Exodus does a great job just by itself. Um, if you want any help, there you go. That's your boy, that's your man. Um, and this is basically the Exodus wallet. Now you have it, you're free to make your own financial decisions, whether that is import Bitcoin, send receive Litecoin. I'm gonna quickly just add these back because what you'll see is within each wallet you have a send and a receive. So if I wanted to top this wallet up with Bitcoin from another provider or another wallet, I would hit receive and there is my receive code. I can print it, I can email, copy, share. That's my receive code. And then if I send Bitcoin to this, it will show in my wallet here and it will be added to the portfolio. Um, handy if you want to exchange again, it's right there. You don't need to use Shapeshift externally. It's all, it's all right here. Um, and that's that's a great way to just shift your funds around. Um, again, any shifting you want to do, any exchanging you want to do is of your own accord. Uh, that is your risk and your risk alone. No one else can be held accountable for your financial decisions. Um, but basically, that's it. Now you have an Exodus wallet. You can join the Bitcoin movement going on now and yeah, either store, trade, do what you must to make yourself happy. But yeah, um, guys, if this video helped you get around what Exodus is, how to install, and the basics of just what the wallet is, then please give us a like, a comment, a subscribe, and we'll be back with more videos. Also, I just want to let you guys know that we have set up a Slack channel for Learn to Bitcoin. If you want to join, have a look at our description. Uh, we can discuss all sorts of different things here. Um, link in the description. Join us on Slack. Uh, follow us on Facebook, uh, tw Twitter, and what else do we have? A YouTube channel that you're watching now. So subscribe, chat with us. I would really like to hear what you guys think is a good investment, what you guys are betting your cash on. Um, and let's discuss that. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it ugly? But other than that, thank you guys for watching. Have a great evening, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.